Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a personality quiz and its result page using the Quiz and Survey Master plugin. Alright, so in order to create our personality quiz, I have created a dummy WordPress website using InstaWP. It's one of the finest platforms to create a disposable WordPress website to test your ideas and tools for free. Here, you can create a quick and disposable WordPress website in no time. So, let's get into this. Alright, so I have already installed the QSM plugin on my website. To see how to install the QSM plugin on your website, click on the information card in the top right corner of this video. Let's start by creating the quiz. Alright, so the first step is to hover over QSM and then click on Quizzes and Surveys. Next, of course, once you click on Create a Quiz or Survey, the first thing we see is to select a theme for the quiz. Now, QSM has a collection of stunning themes, but for now, let's go with the default theme and then click on Next. The next step is on Quiz Settings. We get an option to set up our quiz initially. Let's set a name for the quiz and then select what kind of form we are using. You could fix a set time limit to your quizzes. Also, you could also select if you want only logged in users to be able to fill the form. Now here comes the second to the last step. Over here on the add-on section, we get to see the most used or popular add-ons of QSM. You could select any add-ons as per your request to add more features to your forms, quizzes, and surveys. Currently, we don't have any add-ons, so let's just click on create quiz. And the last step, here comes the questions tab, where we can enter our questions for the personality quiz. Alright, so now that is done, let's enter the questions for our quiz. Okay, so let's start with the first one, to know but the user's personality. After entering the question, on the right hand side, you can choose the type of question and answer from the drop down. For this, I am taking the multiple choice question type here, and writing three choices and giving them points, also, to evaluate the quiz. And if you want, you can also mark the question as required, so this question cannot be skipped. And then, of course, let's click on the save question. Since our first question is saved, let's click on create a new page with a new question at the bottom of the questions tab. Alright, so now let's create the second page with the second question. For this question, we will be selecting the multiple choice type question and writing a choices with respective points. Okay, so once you have filled in the question, then click on save question. Now let's create a third page question. And now once you're done with that, let's save the question. Now all the questions are saved. Let's set up a contact field to collect the details of the applicants. To do so, let's click on add new field. Let's select the field type and label it as name. Now let's add another contact field And then lastly, let's click on save the contact field. Now, since our question for the quiz is set and the contact field is configured to collect the user details, let's set our final result page for the quiz as per the score. So, go to the result pages tab. Here, you can set conditions as per you when this page should be shown. Now, after setting the conditions, we have set to design a final result page that we have to show people. So, enter the message and take different variables from these templates. For this, I am taking the username variable to put in my message. As this is the personality quiz, I don't want to show people the questions and answers, so I am removing this variable from the page. You can also write the result description if you want. Lastly, let's save the result page changes here. Alright, so now let's preview our personality quiz by clicking on the preview icon at the top right corner of the page. As you can see, we have created the quiz successfully with all the separate pages and it's working wonderfully. And that's all for this video. Stay tuned for new tutorials. Until next time, bye bye and stay safe. <laughs>